With SQL Server 2016, Microsoft are continuing to invest in three major areas. They continue pushing the envelope on mission-critical performance, delivering deeper insights across all data, and hybrid capabilities that can complement your on-premises investments and give you the ability to take advantage of their hyperscale cloud. In this presentation, I will focus on SQL Server 2016 mission-critical performance and also hybrid scenarios which leverage the hyperscale cloud. Microsoft recognizes that organizations need mission-critical operations that are easy to deploy and that are balanced with faster time to solution. This section introduces four main areas in which SQL Server continues to deliver in this manner. Let's take a look at each of these areas starting with performance. SQL Server consistently leads in performance benchmarks such as TPCE and TPCH and in real-world application performance. With SQL Server 2016, performance is enhanced with a number of new technologies. In-memory technology for SQL Server dramatically improves the throughput and latency of SQL Server OLTP capabilities. It is designed to meet the requirements of the most demanding transaction processing applications, and Microsoft has worked closely with a number of companies to prove these gains. The feature set of in-memory OLTP includes the following memory optimized tables, memory optimized table variables, natively compiled store procedures, and natively compiled scalar user-defined functions. SQL Server 2016 delivers performance and scaling improvements and also T-SQL improvements. SQL Server 2016 introduces real-time operational analytics. The ability to run both analytics and transactional workloads on the same database tables concurrently. SQL Server allows you to create an updatable non-clustered column store index on traditional row store tables. Transactional workloads run against the row store, while analytic workloads run against the column store index. SQL Server automatically maintains all changes to the indexes, so the transactional changes are always up to date for analytics. Query Store is a new SQL Server 2016 component that captures queries, query plans, runtime statistics, and more in a persistent store inside the database. It is a database scoped persistent store of query workload history, and you can think of it as a flight recorder or a black box for your database. It can also enforce policies to direct the SQL Server query processor to compile queries to be executed in a specific manner, such as forcing plans. And lastly, SQL Server 2016 introduces support for system version temporal tables as a database feature. It brings built-in support for providing information about data stored in the table at any point in time, rather than only the data that is correct at the current moment in time. Temporal is a database feature that was introduced in ANSI SQL 2011, and which is now supported in SQL Server 2016. Paramount among those areas where SQL Server users expect dependable, ever-evolving excellence, and where Microsoft continues to deliver, is security and privacy protection. SQL Server 2016 introduces several security innovations for your mission-critical applications. Always Encrypted is a new feature in SQL Server 2016 that protects data both at rest and in use, and keeps it encrypted in memory. By contrast, Traditional encryption is applied only to data at rest, leaving data at risk when in use. Always Encrypted protects the data from rogue administrators and backup thieves. Dynamic Data Masking, or DDM, new to SQL Server 2016, provides a mechanism to limit the exposure of sensitive data by controlling how the data appears in the output of database queries. Masking rules can be defined on particular database columns, indicating what type of masking will be applied when those columns are queried. Thus, the sensitive data is masked out when querying by users who don't have a business need to see that data. 
SQL Server 2016 introduces a built-in row-level security feature that enables developers and DBAs to implement fine-grained access control over rows in a table. Using row-level security, data can be stored for different customers, departments, or tenants in the same table while restricting read and write access to rows based on criteria defined by DBAs. And lastly, other enhancements include SQL Server Audit. It lets users create server audits and database audit specifications for database level events. Audited events can be written to the event logs or to audit files. All editions of SQL Server support server level audits and database level auditing is limited to enterprise developer and evaluation editions. SQL Server Transparent Data Encryption or TDE exclusive to SQL Server Enterprise Edition, allows organizations to encrypt data when it is stored on a disk and decrypt it when it is read into memory. This enables software developers to encrypt database files, log files, and backup files without changing existing applications. And SQL Server 2016 can now audit the success or failure of operations. When a user attempts to perform an operation, the user must first have permission to perform that operation. Prior versions of SQL Server could track and audit whether a permission check succeeded or failed. SQL Server high availability solutions provide mission critical uptime, fast failover, improved manageability, and better use of hardware resources. Features like SQL Server Always On continues to get better and more powerful with every release. Now available in SQL Server 2016 Standard Edition or higher, basic availability groups provide failover support for a single database, replacing the database mirror feature of previous versions. Basic availability groups enable a single replica for a primary database using either synchronous or asynchronous commit mode. This secondary replica remains inactive unless a failure occurs in the primary. Basic availability groups support hybrid environments spanning on-premises and Azure. Always On was first introduced in SQL Server 2012 and SQL Server 2016 continues to deliver an enhanced high availability solution. This integrated high availability and disaster recovery solution provides redundancy within a data center and across data centers, and this helps enable fast failover of applications during planned and unplanned downtime. Always On delivers a suite of capabilities rolled into a single solution. In SQL Server 2016, managed backup to Microsoft Azure uses the new block blob storage for backup files. This allows the option to stripe backup sets, enabling backup file sizes of up to 12.8 terabytes. Other changes and enhancements to managed backup include system databases can be backed up with managed databases, databases in full, bulk logged and simple recovery modes are supported, and both automated and custom scheduling of backups are supported. The interaction between SQL Server and Microsoft Windows Server is an area that can lead to large improvements in scalability. SQL Server is supported on Windows Server Core, the Windows Server edition with the smallest footprint. Because Windows Server Core requires less maintenance and fewer operating system patches, planned downtime is greatly reduced when you run SQL Server on Windows Server Core. The percentage reduction in patching and OS reboots can be as much as 50 to 60% in certain environments, depending on the server roles that are enabled and the type of patches that are applied. Windows Server allows live migration of SQL Server virtual machines in a non-clustered environment, both in centrally shared and non-shared virtual machine storage scenarios. This practice helps organizations reduce the cost and complexity of SQL Server deployments in virtualized environments while maintaining availability during planned downtime. Scalability enhancements delivered with SQL Server 2016 include hardware acceleration for transparent data encryption, parallelized decryption, and tempdb optimization, and more. For additional resources, we encourage you to download the Mission Critical Performance White Paper from the SQL Server 2016 website.
Hyperscale is a term coined to describe the ability of a system to scale in response to demand. In the realm of data management, this entails scalable and distributed data in addition to highly scalable computing. This scalability is the core for enabling cloud-based data, big data, and distributed storage. SQL Server 2016 has been designed as a cloud-first but not cloud-only platform, meaning on-premises and cloud products are designed to work together in a hybrid environment. New tools in SQL Server and Azure make it easier to scale to the cloud, to build patching, backup, and disaster recovery solutions, and to also access resources wherever they are, be it on-premises, in a private cloud, or in a public cloud. This section introduces and focuses on the hyperscale features. Data is continuously growing, and users generally want to retain all data for many reasons. With SQL Server 2016 Stretch Database, you can stretch large operational tables from on-premises to Azure with the ability to query with near-infinite capacity and lower TCO storage. Applications continue to work without code changes, and existing DBA skills and processes remain relevant, and developers can continue to use current tools and APIs. With Stretch Database, you do not have the complexity or costs associated with managing external archiving and hardware. With SQL Server 2016, distributed availability groups add flexibility to high availability and disaster recovery strategies. And the Add Azure Replica Wizard makes it easy to implement. SQL Server has several options for backing up to Azure, including Managed Backup, Backup to Azure Block Blobs, and Azure Storage Snapshot Backup. SQL Server 2016 has made enhancements to each of these backup options. We encourage you to visit the SQL Server 2016 website where you can download the Hyperscale Cloud white paper.